All right, it is 630 and we have a pet connection to make this morning. Joining us today is Samantha Reed with Stray Animals Matter, also known as Sam. Thank you so much for being here. No problem. Thanks for having us. Sam. You brought an adorable kitten. She is a sweet little thing. This is April. Okay, tell us about April. Um, how old is she? Where was she found? Yes, yeah, so she is only about eight weeks old. She was found abandoned in a house when some folks moved away with her family. And we've already got her mother adopted, but we still have her and her siblings. What is her demeanor like? She is a sweet, playful little thing, if you mm -hmm. cannot tell. Yeah, she's a cuddler. <laughs> she is. She liked running around with my cat at home, so she loves other kitties, and she has no fear. <laughs> no fear. Okay, no so fear. That, that's always a big question when you have other pets at home, mm -hmm. too, is will this new pet be okay in my current dynamic? Yes. And you said that she did play well with other cats. Yes, I have an adult male cat that was also a rescue, and he always takes to any kitten that I I bring to the house even the first day and they were playing running around diving over couches <laughs> having so much fun last night lots of energy then huh? oh yeah she's a kitten, <laughs> that's, a kitten. that's what they do yeah, it's a kitten as well <laughs> so go ahead and tell us about your organization as well so Stray Animals Matter primarily focuses on TNR, which is Trap, Neuter, Return, where we go out and we try to help places that have a lot of feral cats, which most of the rural communities between Springfield and Joplin do. So we go out, we fix them, we vaccinate them for rabies, we test them for diseases like feline leukemia and FIV. And if they're feral, they're returned, so that way they aren't part of the breeding population. And if they're friendly, if we have foster space, ones like this baby get to come in and they go through full vetting and then they're adopted out. And they're microchipped and all yes, that stuff yes. as well. Yes, fully vaccinated, you get microchipped. Adopted. Very good. So you mentioned the need for foster parents yes. as well yes. for these animals. Is that something that is a recurring need? Yes, we always need fosters, especially during kitten season. And with mm -hmm. COVID having closed down a lot of the spaying neuter locations right now, there are more kittens than we've dealt with before. So it's okay. really, really needed right now. How do people get in touch with you all? So you can contact us via our website, strayanimalsmatter.org, or you can actually go to our Facebook page, and we're pretty active on there. Okay, and to find out more about April, do the same thing. Yes. You know, just contact you guys, and boy, Man, if you're looking for a kitty, this might be the one that you want to integrate into your house because oh, she's, she's sweet. sweetheart. Thank you so much for being here, Samantha. Yeah, we appreciate so it. We'll, of course, put our pet connection on OzarksFirst.com as well if you want to get another look at April here.